Jesus while he was in prison. And Jesus changed his life. Let me read what he says. When Governor Patahi was about, I don't think he was going to get paroled or not, but they were going to, you know, have a hearing whether he should be paroled. This is what he said. He wrote a letter to the Governor Patahi. He said, Dear Governor Patahi, I'm writing you in regards to my parole, which is scheduled for June 2002. I'm so sorry for the grief and pain I have caused many people some 25 years ago. I'm haunted by my actions, and I will do anything thing to undo this tragedy. I know I have failed and disappointed my loving family, and I have disgraced myself for the rest of my life. However, today, because of Jesus Christ and my faith in him, I'm trying my best to make amends to society in any way that I can. And I'm thankful for any opportunity that may come my way to do this. I am disappointed that there is going to be a parole hearing. I know the sentencing law required a hearing to be held in June, a date that was set 20 years ago. But the fact is, I have absolutely no interest in being paroled. I have done nothing whatsoever to try to obtain parole. For example, I have never asked anyone, whether it be friend or minister, to write a letter of support in my behalf. Likewise, I have not asked any prison officials to write letters to recommend me for release. I do not believe in doing such things. Frankly, I could give you no good reason why I should ever be paroled. I can, however, give you many reasons why I should not be. The loss of six lives and the wounded of even more are reasons enough for this letter. In all honesty, I believe I should be in prison for the rest of my life. I have with God's help come to terms with my situation and I have accepted my punishment. That was written, he wrote that letter quite a few years ago when Governor Pataki was the governor. And last week in the New Daily News, I read this. It says, Son of Sam, Jesus forgives me. Son of Sam killer David Bokovich says he won't try to get sprung from prison when he's eligible for parole again next year because Jesus has already freed him. The man who terrorized New York in the 1970s has been telling the parole board since 2004 that he should remain locked up and he has no change of heart. I have no interest in parole and no plans to seek release. If Brokowitz 58 wrote in a letter to a Fox News reporter. If you can understand this, I am already a free man. I am not saying this jokingly, I really am, he wrote. Jesus Christ has already forgiven and pardoned me, he continued. He has given me a whole new life which I do not deserve. Brokowitz added that why society will never forgive me, God has. It's not that Bokowish likes being in prison. He noticed, noted it's not a good place. But he claims to be making the best of his incarceration. He is serving six consecutive 25 year to life sentences at the Sullivan Correctional Facility in the Catskill for a string of killings. Amen? You see true conversion here? He's getting the opportunity to be, to be released. He said, no, I killed six people. Mm -hmm. Let me remain in jail for the rest of my life. And even though I'm in jail, I'm a free man because Jesus has forgiven me. Mm -hmm. Are we all free this morning or are we in prison? Mm -hmm. Is there some sin in our life that is keeping us in prison? Because even though we're not locked up, even though we are out here, we could still be in prison because of some sin that is, you know, keeping us from really serving God the way we should. 
I want you as you go through this day, and maybe for the rest of your life, remember the story of David Bokoesh. Remember he said he is a free man. Jesus made him a free man. And when Jesus comes, if he keeps being faithful, he is going to be in heaven. What a beautiful story. Prison ministry. Somebody witnessed to David in jail. Somebody told him about Jesus. And Jesus, he allowed Jesus to come into his life and to give him a change of life. What a beautiful story. Let us continue singing.